when separate set of books are maintained. Now, the dilemma is which account will you create? In case of consignment, we created consignment account to record all the expenses and incomes of the consignment business. Which account do we create in joint venture? We are maintaining the accounts for joint venture. So the first account will be an account where we can debit all expenses and credit all incomes. This account is called the joint venture account. What is the purpose of joint venture account? Why do we prepare final accounts comprising of profit and loss account and balance sheet? We prepare consignment account to identify the profit or loss in consignment. What do we do in joint venture? In the given case, joint venture account is opened by XYJV for the purpose of finding out the net result of the business. That is, either profit or loss. We will incorporate all expenses relating to joint venture on the debit side and all income related to the joint venture on the credit side of the joint venture account. It functions in a similar way as the profit and loss account works in final accounts. The net result, either profit or loss, is transferred to co-venturers X and Y. Now, how do we transfer the profit to X and Y? In partnership, we have partners capital account for transactions by partnership with partners. The joint venture requires such account for transactions of the joint ventures with its co-venturers. Here, we open co-venturers account. The profit will be transferred to X's account and Y's account depending on the agreed ratio. Where do we transfer other goods? or amount brought in or taken out by the co-venturer. This co-venturer's account will also record the amount of cash, goods, brought in or withdrawn by co-venturer. It also records joint venture's expenditure met directly by co-venturer. Now, that we know that all that is brought in and taken out is recorded in co-venturer's account, where do we record the second effect for the money or cash brought in by X or Y? We have learned that money that comes in is either held as cash or deposited to bank account. So, in whose bank account do we deposit the money if all co-venturers contribute for the purpose of joint venture? In our example, we have co-venturers X and Y. If we say we deposit in the bank account of X, will Y contribute his part? Or if we say we deposit in the bank account of Y, will X contribute his part? Hence, in order to avoid any such disputes, we open the joint bank account of XYJV. This is a separate bank account open for the purpose of joint venturers transactions. At the end of the venture, this account is closed by paying off the dues to the co-venturer at the end of joint venture. Till now, we spoke about which accounts are to be opened. Now let us see how joint venture will function. X and Y are bringing in a sum of rupees 1 lakh as initial contribution. Now, how do we record this transaction? The amount being brought in is an asset. The golden rule for asset or real account is debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Hence, we debit cash account. No, we cannot debit cash. We have opened only joint bank account. So, we debit joint bank account. The amount has been brought in by X and Y. Both are persons. The golden rule for the personal account is Debit the receiver, credit the giver. So the journal entry is joint bank account debit 2 lakhs to X account that is co-venturer account 1 lakh to Y account co-venturer account 1 lakh again.